My father, very patriotic, he was enlisted in the First World War, and in gratitude, when he uh, reached uh, Hungary, he kissed the soil. How yes. was he to know what was awaiting us? Conditions were impossible. We marched across fields, and there was a cattle train waiting. We were herded in. There were only women with many children and us. The doors were shut. There was no air to breathe. It was the beginning of dehumanization. We realized this is not going to be a resettlement anywhere. It took us to Auschwitz. Many of us died, especially babies, young children, and the aggression that met us on arrival was indescribable. We went on the selection uh, uh, marches in front of um, Dr. Mengele. He looked at our naked body, and those that were losing weight rapidly were sent to be gassed. I did some slave labor, and as the Allied forces were coming closer, we had to evacuate in 1944-45 winter. And um, bitter cold, no adequate clothes or shoes. We started marching across frozen fields, marched and marched into a death camp, Bergen-Belsen mountains of corpses, that's what awaited us. Just whimpering, that's all you could hear, dying, death all around us. I do believe that it's, it's a long-term educational process that needs to continue and show what hate propaganda and what malicious, what anti-Semitism, racism and other forms of exclusion can cause. The importance, remember, but stand up and speak, protect and, and feel good about yourself. That's my hope.